girl's hair is growing. I'm really shocked because I really thought they were lying about this. So this lace is giving scalp. <laughs> Cold. I'm not sure if I want to be someone that feels like they have to literally film everything in their lives. I'm just confused how this is like the instantly detangling. There goes my neighbor playing her music super loud again, bro. This is not snagging on my hair at all. Yeah, look, it's completely glueless. This is the quickest I've ever been able to detangle my hair in the six years I've been natural. Beautiful painter, I love the way you painted the sky tonight. Hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another wash day vlog you guys really like these so i'm gonna keep doing them until you get annoyed with them <laughs> so today we are about to get this wash day down i'm gonna take y'all through the full process per usual um from washing my hair all the way to the finished style we're going into protective styles with wigs for the rest of the winter so super excited for y'all to see what wig I'm going to be wearing. I am very excited to try it. Before we get started, make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content and make sure to check out A Natural Rose if you are trying to get some hair products to help promote growth. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to do is on TikTok, if you are on TikTok, this brush right here has been trending. This is the Unbrush. This is supposed to be like a super, super, super good detangling brush for natural hair. So I'm kind of nervous to use it, but I did want to try it out. I feel like it might be overhyped because I saw people using this on dry hair. And I'm talking like coily, kinky girls. So this either is not true or it's a, like a magical product so i definitely want to give it a shot so we're going to test it out on my dry hair and then if that doesn't work i'm going to test it out in the shower with the conditioner and all that good stuff so we'll, we'll see okay you guys so i had to try a section first for um social media but i don't think they were lying <laughs> um like my hair is completely dry it is six weeks old it has not been detangled and baby, this brush is running through it. Yeah, it's not as like smooth and easy as if my hair was soaked, soaking wet with conditioner in the shower and stuff. But for it having no product on it, it's like gliding through. I'm really shocked because I really thought they were lying about this. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. We got to get in the shower first because I'm going to see how this works with it, like being soaked with conditioner because y'all know I love the easy detangling brush. I'm really shook right now. Like, this is not causing no breakage or nothing, and it's dry hair. Like, it's just gliding through my hair. I don't know if y'all can tell by the um, bristles. There's not those, like, little knobs on the bristles or anything like that. So, it's super smooth, and, like, they move really well. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on, let, let's 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 go to the shower real quick. Let's do that. Hold on. All right, you guys. So it has been an hour since that last clip, and as you see, the hair is still not washed. That's because I forgot to charge my Apple Watch, so I had to wait to for it to be charged. But we're all good, cause you know we film with the phone and we film with the camera. So we just gonna get started. Honestly, I've been procrastinating on this. It's currently almost five o'clock on a Saturday. Let's just get into it. Um, I have the unbrush here, and I also have my Felicia Leatherwood as a backup because I'm not about to waste no time. I double checked, so this time I do not believe we have locked, we have forgotten anything. So I think we're good. Let me go ahead and just turn on my phone, and then we just gonna hop straight into it because let me make sure I can do the screen share thing with my phone. All right, let's just get into it. I told y'all I do have a new shower head. So, this is my first time washing my hair with it, though. So, we're going to see how good it is. All right, let's just go ahead and wet my hair. Because, why not? I am cold, though. So, that's going to be a problem. Because I told y'all last time, I like to get really, really, really hot before doing this. Because turning this water on and off 
It's not fun. The girl's hair is growing, period. Like, I'm really trying to reach hip length by the end of 2024. Like, that's how serious I am. We're not playing. Let's turn around and get some shots of the back. I was about to say let's get some back shots, but some of y'all have dirty minds. Y'all see how long my hair is growing? Like, let's be for real right now. I'm so excited. All right, that's enough of that before the camera falls up. Ah, I'm cold. Okay. But y'all, detangling this time is going to be a breeze. I'm sorry, I can't get over how good my hair looks. But detangling is going to be a breeze because my hair was blow dried before I put in those passion twists. So it was nice and stretched. I'm not anticipating any issues. So we're just going to go ahead and split my hair into our regular smoothness section. You can see all that build up though. We're going to have to really get in there with that cleanser though. I feel like my last couple of vlogs were like an hour bro. I'm like, do I really talk that much? <laughs> Like, look how easy that's splitting apart. Go watch my last wash day vlog, and you will see how difficult my sections were splitting apart versus this time. <sighs> I'm cold, though, bro. It's no joke. Let's hurry up and finish this. I'm going to try to get done with this in, let's see, what time is it? I'm going to try to get done with this by 6. But detangling, honestly, is probably going to only take, like, 10, 15 minutes. Shampooing takes, what, like, 2 minutes? then applying the deep conditioner like five minutes so i feel like we can do this in half an hour like my hair feels so soft that's crazy y'all all i had in my hair was my hair butter this whole time oh and uh i had you know braiding jam but outside of that nothing else no hydrating moisturizing products <sighs> i'm cold y'all it's okay we got it we got it we got it we got it and it didn't even take that long for my hair to get, like, soaked, which is really good. So, using Aussie Moist Conditioner. If you know, you know by now. Just spraying a good bit in my hand. What is this dripping? Oh, it's from that. That's annoying. So sorry. Okay. So, we're just going to apply it to our section. First section. Alright, we're going to try this unbrush. Now, if it's giving me a hard time, I'm really not about to worry about it because I genuinely just want to uh, get this over with. So, let's give it a shot. I already can tell the grip is annoying. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's going right there. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. My hair is detangled. I only brushed my hair for 20 seconds, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Shut up! Oh my goodness. I gotta put this down somewhere. But y'all saw that, right? I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna play this clip without cutting anything. Y'all gonna see. I did three or four passes. And my hair is detangled. That section is detangled, y'all. Y'all. Whoa. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pause, pause, pause. Hold up. Y'all, that is detangled. I'm shook right now. Let me do the second section for TikTok and Instagram. And I'm going to come back. We're going to do, like, the hardest part of my hair to detangle. Next, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Pause, pause. I'll be right back. I'm struggling to believe this is working. Um, hold on. Let's apply the conditioner. This is the hardest part of my hair to tangle. My hair is the thickest and the tightest in the middle of my head. So, I'm just confused how this is like the instantly detangling it. I'm holding it like this, okay? You see that? And I'm just... Like, it's not snagging. Do you understand what I'm saying? My hair is six weeks old. This is not snagging on my hair at all. It's no stopping it. Like, it's detangled. <laughs> it's detangled now. Like, y'all, I haven't touched this section with a brush, y'all. It's detangled now. It's detangled now. 
This whole section, y'all. It's detangled now. Like, it's fully detangled. That's it. That's it, y'all. That is it. It's detangled. Hold Oh, my goodness. It's like... Y'all, I have finished this whole quarter of my head in, like, two minutes. I want y'all to understand that. It's fully... Like, y'all, I'm like... Look, watch. Watch for the aesthetics, right? I am going to... Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold on. Hold up. I'm literally shocked. That is insane. I'm not even being dramatic. Y'all see, like, literally, hold on. Because I feel like some of y'all might think I'm lying. So give me a second. I'm going to do another section for TikTok and um, Instagram with my phone. And I'm coming right back so y'all can see this. Because this whole section is done and it's been like two, three minutes. I'm not exaggerating. Okay, we're back. It's been like 90 seconds. And, okay, so y'all know how I said that I detangle my hair in three sections in the back? Well, I forgot to do three sections. So I was like, let's try it on, like, this section split in half instead of three sections like this. No different. Like, I'm going to try using this baby bit of conditioner. Usually I use, like, four times this amount, okay? I'm going to try using this baby bit of conditioner. I'm going to apply it all over this section. Remember, this is the hardest part. Of my hair right here is the hardest part to detangle so i'm gonna apply this little baby amount my hair isn't not it's not soaking wet y'all it's not soaking wet let me like push this farther out the way okay it's not soaking wet at all i'm gonna actually take all the hair off of it so we can get a fair chance okay let's let's go for it y'all Y'all see that? It's just like running through my hair. It's detangled. Look. Y'all, my hair is six weeks old. Six weeks. I have not detangled it at all. I just wet my hair, y'all. Do y'all see this? Like, they weren't lying. That's the thing. I really thought these girls were overhyping it. I was like, no way, type 4 hair. No way. Y'all, I'm just running through it just so y'all can see. It is detangled on each side. I'll do the back. Like, look. Detangled. Not stopping. Not snagging. Anywhere, bro. Like, that is crazy. It has not been 10 minutes, y'all. And I am already halfway done with my head. This is the quickest I've ever been able to detangle my hair in the six years I've been natural. And the thing is, by looking at the brush, it don't look like it has no crazy technology or anything. Or it's made in like a special way to be able to detangle your hair. But it does. Okay, hold up though. Let's try this. We're going to try this real quick. Because let's just see if this works. Okay. So I'm going to actually try to detangle this whole half of my head with the brush. Because I don't do this. I always split. Y'all see. Y'all have evidence. Three years being on this on YouTube, my hair is not soaking wet anymore because we wet it a while ago. Okay, this whole I'm do this whole section. So I did three pumps of Ozzy Moist conditioner. Usually I do like at least double that because this is a very big section. I'm gonna work it through. Okay, we gonna try it. Okay, I'm holding it with my thumb right here to get a better grip. Let's just try. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's done. Y'all see it's going right through, right? Y'all see that? Didn't cut the clip or anything. It's going right through. It's just like pulling out all the shed hair. And that's it. Let me split it in half to see if the middle has been fully detangled, though. So, like, go right there. So. Do y'all see this, though? <sighs> okay. Um. I just want to stop right now and thank God that he allowed me to find that bread. Now, I am curious to see how well this will detangle my hair if I've worn it, like, as a wash-and-go or something. Because I do tend to get a lot of tangles with wash-and-goes. 
when I have my hair like in this state where I've had a protective style in, it's been blow dried, you know, hasn't been touched, it still takes me. Like I still would have, I probably would have just like now finished the back section, like this one section, and I'm just moving on to the back right there. I have never been able to t detangle my hair in these big of a sections properly. The only reason I'm splitting this into two is so like when I shampoo, I can get better access to my scalp. But so I'm gonna do this one for YouTube. I mean, I'm gonna do this one for Instagram and TikTok, but I'm gonna let y'all see it. I'm just not gonna say nothing. Because I did technically detangle this little section right here. I forgot about that. So we're going to... This one hasn't been detangled at all. Just wet. So it's damp now. It's not even fully wet. So we're going to try it. Same three pumps of Aussie Moist. Um, I have no words. Because, you know, I've tried a lot of hair products in my three years of being a hair influencer, if you want to call me that. And, I mean, I've tried some good products before, but nothing that I was genuinely like. I literally had to make this a staple in my routine. Because, you know, I'm the bare minimum. I know what works. I keep it. I'm not into having new stuff. That brush, you need to get that. I am not sponsored. I am. You need to get that brush. I've never told y'all, like, running. I'm telling you, get this brush. I have no ties to this company at all, but you need to get this brush. And that is just it, okay? That is, an, and it's like, I think it was like seven bucks. It is not, it's less than $10. So, this is all of my hair. Um, This is not breakage. This is definitely shed hair. It just pulled it right out, okay? And again, it's been six weeks since I washed my hair. So, this is normal, okay? I like that. Um, that's gonna be that's better than the Felicia Leatherwood. That's better than the easy detangling brush that y'all know I've been using for a year and a half and like have stood by ten toes down. This is my new detangling brush. I just wanna let y'all know that. If you ever wonder what Brittany Rose is using to detangle her hair, it will be this. Okay, let's move on to shampooing, shall we? Um, I'm just shook honestly, but we're going to be using um this shampoo by the main choice they sent me this like a year ago i mean honestly like almost two years at this point it's from their hydration therapy line i don't even know they still have this line i haven't seen it in stores that's crazy y'all i'm gonna try to add up how long it took me to detangle but i'd say it was less than 10 minutes like that's crazy so we're just gonna apply it to our hair this does smell good though i'll tell you that I'm just going to make sure it's thoroughly applied everywhere. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my hair. Just a little bit. Just to kind of wet my scalp. So it can, there we go. That way it can like really start to cleanse. Because usually my scalp is a lot wetter because I'm soaking my hair in conditioner and like I'm having to put water on each section and get enough slip to detangle. Bro. Honestly, I thought like I could have detangled my hair without conditioner. And just have it wet. Like, that's how good that brush was. And that's crazy to say as someone with tight four hair. Okay. Then I did get this, um, was it the Innate Life? They sent me some PR. They sent me this, um, scalp massaging brush. Can I get a good picture? So, I'm gonna try it since I lost my other one. But I actually did find it. <laughs> like, when I was looking for my slip, like, the other day. But we're just gonna use this. I like this brush. It's really nice. Um, I really like this though. Like the bristles are soft, but they're hard enough to really like scrub your scalp. So I like it. I have noticed lately though, that this front part, like right here, has where I like get the most build up in flakes. So I'm gonna really try to get in there and really get all that up. So um, it's crazy. This is the first wash that I'm actually using and trying new stuff. And I genuinely enjoy it. All right, I think we're done. Like, I really feel like my scalp is getting a nice, good work. Make sure I got to get those edges. I only did my edges once the entire six weeks. Like, I was just not, maybe twice. I just wasn't feeling my edges um, with the style. 
I didn't want a super polished look, so. Also, I tend to get built up like in the middle, so just getting in there real good. That's crazy, y'all. I wouldn't have procrastinated so long on my wash day if I knew it was gonna take me this quick. Like, I really could finish washing my hair in like 20, 30 minutes, if that, probably shorter. Detailing takes the most time. I'm so shook right now. Oh, nothing. I'm y'all know I don't be hyping products. I don't be lying about stuff. But this, you need. Where's that brush? You need to get this brush. You need. It's called the Unbrush. It's on TikTok Shop. I will um have. You know what I'll do is I will have it on my. Here's my TikTok right here. I will have it in my showcase on my TikTok. So you just go to my TikTok page, click on my showcase, and it will be there, and you can purchase it. You sell out quick. So as soon as you see this video, go get it. I'm telling you, everybody needs to get this brush. If you have type 4 hair, get this. It don't matter if you have 4C, it don't matter. Get this brush, okay? I probably could shampoo my hair first now. And then detangle after. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But I'm just saying, that could be a, a very high possibility in the next couple months. I just have to see if I'm willing to try it. But, ooh, it's cold. That's cold. Okay, it's warm though now, but it was cold. Make sure you shake your scalp to get any of that shampoo off of your scalp. Gotta get the back too. And I didn't miss any hair. This time, like I didn't have that piece that I always miss. Last thing is deep conditioning. So today we are gonna be trying a new deep conditioner. If y'all watched my last uh, wash day vlog, um, I had ran out of my deep conditioner, so. We're going to be trying this one from Kaleidoscope. It's cranberry and, oh, it's just a cranberry deep conditioner. Never tried it. Um, I heard cranberries are good for your hair. Oh, it's red. Ooh, <laughs> that smells good. I was going to work with Kaleidoscope before, but, like, we did not agree on the price, so I didn't know working with them. Oh, I just put it on my mouth. Definitely doesn't taste how it smells. <laughs> that smells good. It smells really nice, but it's not, like, too strong. Wow, I actually really like how that smells. I would not mind if my hair smelled like that. So we're going to be using this. And of course, y'all know the drill. I'm going to be taking the oil from my hair care line. Soothing Strength and Oil Blend with Rosemary and Lavender. Take this and put this all over. Y'all are loving this oil. I'm so happy. You're like, bro, it's giving instant relief. My scalp is clearing up. We'd love to see it. So I'm just going to add that to it. I get a clip for um, social media too. Okay, I'm gonna get a good amount in there too. Alright, now I'm just gonna take one of my clips and um, stir that in there. Nice and slow, so don't spill. This is crazy. Look, look at my hair. Okay, first let's just take some up that's on the clip and just put that on there so don't waste it. It's super thick, which I like. So, oh, a little bit goes a long way. And I like how it's thick because it weighs my hair down. That's how I know it's thick. If my hair is still, like, puffy, then it's not super thick. It's a little bit more. That's probably too much, huh? All right. a great wash day <laughs> like this is one of the best wash days i think i've had all year it's just been very simple easy and straight to the point and i'm here i love it like my hair feels great and got this one little piece separate that okay grab some my deep conditioner this is way too much but it's okay you can never have too much deep conditioner and if someone tells you that i don't know where they got their information with the hair, make sure we get it, getting those edges in. All right, one side complete. All right, let's get into the other side. Gotta 
check to make sure I'm always in frame. People always miss those roots, so make sure you're splitting that section apart and getting your roots. Not your scalp. You don't have to put on your scalp, but your roots. Some people don't know the difference between scalp and roots. They're not the same thing. Like when I say, apply the hair butter from roots to ends, and they're like, okay, so I put it on my scalp. I said, no, 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 no. The product's not made for your scalp. It's made for your hair. Oil is made for the scalp. See, so like if I split my hair, if I see any black, like right there in there, just make sure to get that in. Okay. Almost done. With the easiest wash day of 2023. And because my hair is so detangled, I don't need to apply the deep conditioner in like the small twists. Like having a good detangling routine just makes everything about your wash day so much easier. It's crazy. Like, look at my hair, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see all that black right there? So, you gotta make sure. No, when I put it on my scalp, just my roots. Make sure that's all in there. So, I just, hair just glide apart, bro. Alrighty, that is it. Oh my goodness, my hair looks amazing. <laughs> what? My hair looks amazing. Oh, y'all see that? Look at that, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit like normal. I might put my deep conditioning cap on because and it's perfect because my battery's about to die. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just tie this up. Turn around and put this in a bun. Definitely not one of my best buns, but it's okay. All right, let me stop this. Y'all, we're done. <laughs> I have been here in here since, let's see. I've been in here for like 35 minutes. Last time I, I checked the time, it was like an hour and 10 minutes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Like, honestly, this winter, I might start washing my hair like every three weeks if it's going to be that quick and simple. All right, you guys. I will let this sit for about an hour or so, and then I will come back and we will finish all right here <laughs> all right guys so it's been about an hour and a half since i got the shower so let's go ahead and take this off Ooh, this is a deep conditioning cap that i have i honestly don't even remember where it's from but you can get one off of amazon i think i have one on my storefront i don't use it all the time but usually when i don't do my deep conditioner overnight i use it just to make sure i get the full benefits but if I'm using it overnight, it's more time for it to soak into my hair, so it's whatever. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and take off my Walmart bag that I put on. Ooh, my hair is nice and warm to the touch. Oh, it's really, really warm. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, y'all see that? Yeah, my hair feels really, really good. Let's talk about this a little bit closer. This looks really good. My hair looks awesome. Perfect into a wash day. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out with cold water and then we'll be back to moisturize. All right, y'all. Rinsed all the deep conditioner out of my hair. Shirts all wet. But we're gonna go ahead and actually let me change my shirt real quick. All right, much better. <laughs> so let me go ahead and just take this off. Oh, my hair smells really good, and it looks awesome. I'm going to try to squeeze a little bit of excess water out because we are going to blow dry, and I don't want my hair to be, like, super soaking wet. Usually, I'll let this sit on my hair, like this towel thing, and soak up all the water for, like, 20 minutes, but I don't have time today. I'm trying to get this done. It's 8 o'clock, y'all. <sighs> procrastination is real. Okay, but look how good and clean and healthy and detangled my hair is. Shrinkage is the real deal. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and moisturize with my hydrating hair butter. So y'all already know the drill. I'm gonna split my hair into a bunch of different sections. 
one thing I am a little concerned about is um, doing my hair with my nails because it's been a while since I had my nails done, so I forget how different the experience is for sure. Let me back it up. I feel like this only takes two seconds, so let's just hurry up and get this done. Y'all, I'm trying to grow. Out. I want to finish before 11. I feel like I will. The only thing that's going to probably take a while is braiding out my hair. But I'm going to flat twist. I'm not going to braid my hair. Heck no. I'm not doing that. Um, I really want to get super flat um, twists. So we'll see. It's like deep conditioner in my ear. <laughs> All right. Let's split this up. All right. And then y'all know the drill. We just. I'm on. Look how far I am in that jar. Y'all can't even see that. Take a good amount. Not a lot, y'all. And just apply it. To the section. Uh, my hair is still a little bit too wet. Hopefully it doesn't. It's not that bad. And also what I think I'm actually going to do is. I'm going to go ahead and detangle the sections again. Just to make sure they're fully detangled before I blow dry them. So I'm going to grab the love of my life right here. And just go. Th <laughs> this is ridiculous bro. Go through and just detangle. This is so funny. <laughs> uh, barely any product on my hair and it's detangling. That's crazy. I'm gonna add a little bit more hair butter. And then we're just gonna twist the section up. And that's it. And then we just repeat this all over my head. <laughs> All right, so again, just for reference, <laughs> I'm gonna take a section of hair. Bro, I don't even know, like, this is so uneven, but it's okay. I'm actually just gonna detangle with no product because I feel like this brush can handle it, which it can. It's kinda crazy. This brush is insane, bro. I have never been able to use a brush on my hair that has no product in it, wet or dry. So that's kind of crazy. Just gliding right through. Then I'm going to take my towel. This is just a regular towel. It's going to squeeze any excess water out. And then I'm going to take some of the hair butter. Like that much, I don't need a lot. Apply it to my hair. My hair, I'm starting to notice the growth in my hair. It's so weird. Like, everybody's like, um, they do link checks and stuff, like, once a week. And stuff. I'm telling y'all, if you just leave your hair alone for a couple months, you'll naturally notice the difference in growth because I can definitely tell. I mean, so good. I'm super excited for the silk press that's coming up. So, y'all, I am so exhausted. Um, oh my goodness. It has been such a crazy couple of weeks. I... I'm so excited for the holidays, so ready to like, I feel like Loki have a little break from like life. I am just ready to like end 2023. I feel like I've done a lot this year and I feel like I made a lot of crazy moves and changes and I'm, you know, really happy with like how the year is concluding. Like honestly, my year did not start off the best. Career wise, mental wise, physically wise, but it's just like this year I've lost 15 pounds so far. Hopefully, I can get that to 20 by the end of the year. Um, I moved to Atlanta. My business has literally like skyrocketed, like doubled. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's just like, I don't know, I just feel closer to God. My relationship with Him is a lot better. I just feel like I've matured a lot this year and I'm just really proud of myself. And I know some people have been like on me a lot because they're like, Brittany, you say all this stuff and yet you don't really talk about your life. You haven't really been vlogging and stuff like that. It's just like, I don't know. I really just have not been in a place in my life where I have wanted to vlog my life. I've just kind of been wanting to enjoy the experience of my life without having to feel like I need to put it on camera. And I've been struggling with that a lot lately. Like, I am not by any means a lifestyle influencer. But I definitely would not be mad at being a quote-unquote vlogger. It's just that 
I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to be someone that feels like they have to literally film everything in their lives. I'm not sure if that's the road for me. I like filming hair. I like filming vlogs sometimes because it's like boundaries I can set, I guess. Like, I had a comment of someone saying, like, essentially calling me fake because I don't share more about my family and my school. I'm like, how am I fake because I have boundaries of what I put on social media? I definitely understand, you know, wanting to know more about your favorite influencer's life. Get that, 100%. That's why I do feel like I do want to start vlogging a little bit. But to feel like, some people feel like they're entitled to know your life. And I'm like, especially, which is weird, because I've never presented myself as a lifestyle influencer. So, I don't know. That's just kind of weird to me. I just want my hair butter to my hair. Almost done, you guys. Almost done. Like, it detangled that section like a dream. Like, that's crazy. Also, I'm noticing, like, my hair pattern is, like, changing a little bit. Like, it's becoming more curlier. It's still coily, it's still kinky, but it's just, I don't know, maybe because it's getting longer, it just looks different to me. Not in a bad way or anything, it just, I don't know. Also, for some strange reason, it's getting easier to manage. Like, I don't know. You would think the longer your hair is, the more difficult, but I definitely, I would say, like, every single year, it just becomes easier to do. I still don't like doing it, it's just a lot of hair, but routine-wise and all that, it just... I think because my hair has gotten so used to being moisturized and hydrated, it's like kind of falling in, into position with like what it needs to be doing or something. I don't know. Up here is pretty dry, so I'm not gonna really do anything. Just going with the detangling brush. And the thing is, it doesn't hurt at all. Like it doesn't pull out the hair or anything. It just kind of glides right through. Hair butter. Also people are like, why is the jar so small? It goes so I'm like, y'all, I'm barely using any. So you really I think and I get it because when you are used to having to use a lot for products to work, it's like you're like skeptical, like there's no way I can actually use a dime size amount or a quarter size amount um with this product, but I'm telling you. You can use more if you want to, but it's it's honestly not needed. All right, I'm gonna finish moisturizing my hair off camera, and then what I'm actually gonna do is I have the new red hair. They sent me the new red hair, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do a separate video on it, so I'm not gonna include it in this video, but I am definitely gonna show y'all the results when I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll be back to finish off this wash day. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have just finished blow drying my hair. It was definitely better than the old one, but y'all go look at my other wash day. Or I'm going to play a clip right now of the of my blow dry with my Dyson and you can see it's a lot straighter. It's still pretty puffy and um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very happy because now we are about to braid down our hair for this wig. So yeah, sucks to suck. Okay, moving on. Almost done with this wash day routine, you guys. It's 10 o'clock right now. Um, it took me about an hour to blow dry my hair versus 20 minutes if I would have just not done that. But anyways, so uh, I have a plan for how to get my hair super flat without cornrowing. Uh, you know your girl flat twists over here. We definitely do. I do like this comb, though, that came with a rib air. So this is my plan. I'm going to split my hair in the front. I'm going to kind of do like a, a sew-in type braiding pattern to try to get my wig super super flat but i'm going to flat twist if that makes any sense at all but i have a vision in my head so we're just gonna see how it plays out i cannot wait to put my hair up because that rev air situation really just frustrated me a lot all right like look how puffy that still is bro i get hair reverts but like come on now i just finished like two seconds ago this is my plan. I'm gonna do two big flats with. I don't feel like doing three. That's just not my vibe right now. All right, so let's just start the flat twist. Do it super tight. Uh, take my time. Get as flat as possible. I have a flat twisting tutorial on here somewhere. I'm going to make sure the flat twist goes back that way. That makes sense. So we are trying to go back. And it's kind of my piercing, per usual. Perfect. And then I'm not going to twist it all the way down. I'm going to leave it for a second. Okay, just like that. 
Y'all, I'm ready. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm like over my hair. I'm ready to, to have it over with and done. Okay. Second flat twist. Again, I want to kind of make sure it goes towards the back. Not straight down, if that makes any sense. Okay. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is take this extra hair. Okay, hold on. Crap, crap. Okay, I'm going to twist this really tight. Like, really tight. And I want to, like, try to twist it into, there you go. Like, put it into the twist. Like that. And then I'm going to start the braid. Braid it all the way down. Make sure it's detangled. And see, look at that. When you pull it back, super flat. That's what I wanted. I really just thought of that on the spot, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try to tie the braid tight though. And I just gotta make sure the back of my head is flat too because we don't want no problems. Done. Now I'm gonna do this side, then I'm gonna come back. All right, then I'm just gonna do four big flat twists in the back um, just to make sure that hair is all tied down. Y'all, I'm so over my hair right now. Like, I'm, I'm ready to be done with it. I don't want to have anything else to do with it. My scalp is sensitive. Because y'all, y'all know, usually it takes me days to do my hair because I just split it up. But fortunately, we can't do that. And then you see I'm going to do this. I'm going to add that to the twist. Hold on, I can figure out how to do this. Alright, then we just keep... Adding hair, it's a little messy, but it's okay because this is under a wig, so we're good. Okay, almost done. Okay, perfect. Twist it real tight, then I'm gonna start a tiny braid at the bottom, just a tiny one. I like doing braids at the end of my twist because it just helps them to keep from unraveling, so we're just gonna do one right here. This is very ugly, and it does not look good, but it's going to keep my hair nice and flat under the wig, and it's going to keep my hair protected, so that's all that matters, and this is also the reason why I'm not really big on sew-ins. <laughs> my scalp is so sensitive right now. Now, when you get to, like, the center of your head, it's kind of difficult to, like, stay centered with the twist. I tend to make it come more this way than stay in the center, but... It's okay. Also, I'm rushing because I just want to get this done. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I gotta get up for church in the morning. I don't have time for things to be neat. Okay. It's crazy how you can, like, literally detangle your hair, and then the second you start manipulating it, you get tangles again. I don't understand. Oh, literally, bro. That's so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's okay, though. When you see my hair down to my butt, though, after... When spring hits, because I've been doing this all winter, you're going to not care about how ugly it is. Look at that, bro. It's not even attached to my scalp at this point. This rev air, bro, really irked my nerves because my hair is still puffy. Like, bro, what is you doing? There goes my neighbor playing her music super loud again, bro. So annoying. I'm, I don't want to be that type of person to call the front desk, but I am at this point. Because it's like she waits till like 11 o'clock at night to start blasting music. And I'm just like, bro, you know it's too loud. Like, earlier today it was so loud I could hear the song. Like, the lyrics and everything. Now I just gotta pin these twists up. I want to use bobby pins, but then at the same time, sometimes when you wear a wig, the bobby pins like press into your scalp because of the wig. So I don't know. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Okay, I'm just gonna grab one. And I'm just going to pin them right here. Oh, no. Also, I want to make sure it's not pulling on my scalp. That's another thing. All right. I feel like that will be flat enough. It's not perfect, but it will do what it needs to do. All right. So, I'm not going to do the ball cap method, but I did buy some HD uh, wig caps from Amazon. I'll put them on my storefront if y'all want them. Oh, wow. These are really thin. 
Okay, let's slip one on. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Make sure my edges are all slicked back in there. All right, let me go get my wig. <laughs> this is the wig that I got. It is from Icy Hair. I know it has been like trending a lot. I'm trying to set up my phone, y'all. It died, so I had to charge it. But um, wear and go wigs have been like really trending, and I'm obsessed with it because y'all know me, bare minimum here, but I love me a nice, cute wig. I'm excited. I really am because from the, I've I've done a couple of wear and go wigs. I think I was sent like two um, towards beginning of this year, but. The ones from Icy Hair are supposed to be really good quality. Um, they've literally reached out to me 10 times, and yet they don't want to pay me, so I never worked with them. So, um, but the only, so the only reason I'm sharing that it's from them is because I know y'all are going to ask me. So let's just open this bad boy up. I got a 20-inch, like, piano-colored wig. Of course, they always come with these super dramatic lashes that no one wears. I don't even know why. So let's get into it. I'm excited. I'm not really into long hair anymore. So, but I didn't want to get something too short that I couldn't, like, adjust. Oh, okay. That looks very plucked. And they always come with an elastic band. I do remember that. So, that you can adjust how, like, tight it is. So, this is a frontal, I believe. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pop it on real quick just to kind of see what needs to be done kind of see what i'm working with oh yeah definitely have to tighten this up oh wow yeah Ooh, that's cute so yeah obviously we're gonna have to tint the lace obviously but i just wanted to see if it was like how it fit and everything before i did anything like crazy i got this ruby kiss foundation because i've been seeing every girl like tinting their lace with this i got third 12 i got 12 so we're gonna see how it works. I'm gonna use the uh, lighter color. I usually use lace tint to tint my lace, but I was like, you know what, this time, let's try that. Apply this all over this lace. All right, so let's go ahead and put it on now. Hopefully this foundation matches my skin tone. If not, that's gonna be annoying. That's crazy, like it really does match. Y'all, I have to shave my widow's peak back, so unfortunately, it's going to have to go. I always do it in the wintertime. Oh, so sad. But that is the price of wearing wigs. Ugh. All right. So much better. The lace is like rolling up right here, so it's like preventing it from being glueless, glueless. All right, so now let me go get my hot comb, and I'm going to, like, fix this up, do my edges, you know, fix it all up, and then I'm going to show y'all the final look. Hey, guys. It is the next morning. It is 7.55. I have to leave in, like, 20 minutes on the dot for church. Otherwise, it's going to be an issue. But let's go ahead and finish this hair. So... If I can get the thing out, y'all, it's giving scalp. It's giving scalp. So I went ahead and did like a bunch of pin curls. So we're gonna go ahead and like take one thing I did forget to do. I did forget to cut layers into the wig. I just I just totally forgot. But I mean, it was like midnight when I was doing this. So hopefully it looks fine. I won't have to do anything. I'll cut them later. But for right now, I think it'll be a okay. Cute, 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 cute. I used my um, Beach Waver. If you don't know this on TikTok shop, it's an automatic uh, curler. So like it will automatically like rotate to curl the curls. And I did spray hairspray on these before I went to bed, so. Oh, this lace is giving scalp. Do y'all see that? What the heck? It's giving scalp. Whenever you don't wear wigs for a long time, or for me, whenever I don't wear wigs for a long time and I start wearing them again, it's just like, it gives off, I feel like a different person. Like, I don't know. Somebody in my last vlog got the one where I was like, I miss sick of you, I miss sick of you. That's from Medea, y'all. I forgot which one it's from. But it's definitely a play, I believe. Okay, 
So then I'm going to take some more of this hairspray. It's the Sebastian Shaper hairspray. I did my research to see what was the best hairspray. They said this one was it. And then I don't normally do edges, y'all, but like the lace was kind of like curled up a little bit right here on the end. So I was like, let me just do some edges to cover it up because right here it's seamless. Next time for sure, I'm going to need a closure. Like, I don't see the point of having a frontal because, like, look, like, <laughs> the frontal ends, like, right here on it. So, it's basically a closure, which I don't mind. It's calm. Okay. Not terrible. I definitely should apply, should have applied, like, a serum or something beforehand to make it not frizzy because they are kind of frizzy like the curls are kind of frizzy i'm definitely gonna need to just cut a couple layers real quick so let me just find my scissors i don't know why i didn't do this earlier i for i totally y'all i totally forgot especially the front pieces that's what i really want to get all right and then i'm gonna add this like garnier serum to my hair just smooth out the frizziness. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo this eventually because this isn't cute at all. I don't like this. The lace gives. Like, don't get me wrong, the lace giving, but everything else, no. I literally need to walk out of the house at in 10 minutes. Y'all look, it's completely glueless. Like, there's no glue or anything on this at all. That's the crazy part. Like, okay, like that. You'll see that, like, that's cute. Okay, this already looks a lot better. Like, yeah, it needed the layers because it was getting flat. But, like, y'all, look how cute this is. You take this little piece. And then you just click the button to curl it. This is called the Beach Waver. And, of course, I got it on TikTok shop. Of course. I definitely made that piece too short. <laughs> Let's try this side. I'm still struggling, y'all. I gotta relearn how to uh, wear wigs. Then I definitely need to flatten um, this hair more. So I'm gonna take my wax stick and like really go to work. As the months go by, I will learn how to better style these wigs because I feel like with how much this lace is given, I need to do a better job. But this does look a lot better right here. Yeah, this looks a lot better. This looks a lot better. I'm going to try to recurl this piece, though, because the end of this is irking me. I might have cut this too short, but it's okay. Or, you know what I should have done? I should have straightened the hair first and then curled it. I think that's probably it to give me a sleeker look. But this is cute, though. What y'all think? I like. Ooh. It's giving scalp. Okay, the, the layers made it ten times better because I was questioning it. But I definitely do want to, I think I'm going to, like, take my time and actually restyle these curls. Later on this week because it is kind of frizzy at the bottom. Not a huge fan of that. And this piece right here, I'm going to have to figure out what to do. I did I cut that piece too short, but it's okay. We'll just, like, hide it behind. Hair is given. All right, y'all. I'm about to go to church. Serve the Lord. That is it for this wash day. So, two days. Friday, took my hair down. Saturday, washed it, braided it up, put the wig on. And then today, just... Taking it out and enjoying my style. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, get your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content. And check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting some products to help promote hair growth. Black Friday sale. I don't know if I'm posting this before or after Black Friday sale, but Cyber Monday. <laughs> Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Beautiful painter.